Jackson is ex-military. Um, he served in Afghanistan, um, dishonorably discharged, and now is trying to support his wife and two kids. A, a bad break in Afghanistan caused him to be discharged dishonorably, which means he's pretty much a felon and he can't make a living. And so he has to make ends meet any way he can and he's a highly skilled soldier. So there's not a lot of jobs for soldiers without weapons. <laughs> so he, um, he comes up with an idea to um, start hitting over cash trucks. Every criminal thinks they're not a criminal and he, he's no different. I think that he has a lot more honor than most people. Um, the way he treats his, uh, his crew and he, uh, treats uh, the, the victims in, in the heists. But um, as with any good plan, it just goes horribly wrong and uh, the stakes just keep getting higher and he's got to up his game and, um, and that's when, you know, shit happens. It feels like an American heist movie, uh, which is to, I think, you know, a uh, guy and his team's credit. That, that's what he's making. He's making an American heist movie. So, um, but I've certainly enjoyed shooting here, that's for sure. What I've always been a fan of is the rhythm of a Guy Ritchie film. There is a, there's a, almost like a score to the dialogue and the rhythm and the way people speak and everyone has their kind of unique uh, voice. And the same as being and it's always been a British voice, but here it's it's all American. But he's still bringing an, um, uh, a a Guy Ritchie tone and rhythm to all of the scenes, and uh, it's uh, it's really great because you, you want to pinch yourself, going, "God, I'm in a Guy Ritchie movie," but then you also go, "Shut up, act the scene." So I'm like a fan girl at the same time, and I'm also acting this tough guy. So. <laughs>